Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Got a quick patterning video for you guys today. This one was actually by a viewer request. We're gonna pattern some double lot buckshot. Got three different types. We're gonna go non-buffered, buffered, and buffered with the Federal Flight Control. We're gonna shoot them at 20 yards from the Maverick 88 here. It's got the 20 inch barrel with no choke in it. It's just a cylinder bore straight through. So we're gonna pattern and see what difference the buffer versus non-buffered versus the flight control wad makes. Let me show you what we've got here. First here, we've got the Rio, just a standard double lot buck load, no buffer in it. Just straight up pellets on an old school wad. Second, we're gonna shoot the Federal buffered nine pellet load. And it utilizes a wad with a shot cup. That wad, I kinda, <laughs> kinda shredded it a little bit, trying to get it out of the hole. And then we've got the Federal Premium Personal Defense Double Lot Buck Load. It's also a two and three quarter inch nine pellet, but the pellets are copper plated and it runs the Federal Flight Control Wad, which actually opens up from the back. So it carries the shot down the barrel and then it slows and releases the shot. Whereas a standard wad opens from the front and peels back. And we, we've shown in a video that I did before that these flight control wads definitely decrease pattern size. But I wanted to run these in them. I've never patterned the actual personal defense load. I think that was a, a hunting load that we had patterned last time. Let's get started. All right, so up first, just the plain Jane standard nine pellet buckshot load. So up next, we've got the Federal Buffered Round. And finally, we have the Buffered Round with the copper plated pellets and the Flight Control Wad. Federal's personal defense buckshot, they call it. <laughs> Hear that steel ring? I got that steel back there, back there behind my target. Well, let's check our results out. Shit. All right, we got some pretty good results here. As you can see, the pattern size varied a bunch between each round with our traditional buckshot round with no buffer in it. We got a 15 inch spread between the farthest two pellets apart here on the pattern. All nine hit the target, but they spread out a pretty good distance at 20 yards. With our buffered shell, the distance between the farthest two pellets apart is about six and an eighth of an inch. So six and an eighth inch size pattern for the buffered round. And our round with the buffer, and the flight control uh, flight control wad, if I can talk, measures about three and a quarter inches. So we went from this one to this one, we more than halved it, our pattern size, and then we halved it again with the flight control wad. So that's pretty neat, pretty cool results. Now, take it for what you will. One thing I will say, what we've learned here is this shotgun does not accept choke tubes. You know, it's a 20 inch cylinder bore through the barrel. So we can adjust our choke without tubes. We've adjusted the size of our patterns, which is what your choke's based on with, with just changing rounds. So you can, you can shoot different shot shells through your shotgun and test them and pattern them. That's, that's why it's important to pattern your shotguns, whether you're bird hunting or testing self-defense loads. You wanna know what it's doing with these rounds. And as you can see, you can tailor it pretty good. If, you know, if you're in a home defense situation, uh, your home defense shotgun, you may want it to spread a little bit. You know, we were at 20 yards, unless you live in a mansion or something, 
you're not going to have a 20 yard shot inside your home to defend yourself it's, it's going to be much closer than that uh you may want that to spread just a little bit if you're hunting you may want something that'll reach out there and and get a, a pattern on a target that's a little farther out so you can tailor your rounds and get your shotgun you can kind of tune it to what you need it to do so that brings us to the close of another video if you found the video interesting please hit that like button it does help the links to my other social media accounts are always in the descriptions of my videos if you'd like to follow me over on facebook or instagram those links are in there my patreon links in there i can't thank you guys enough that are supporting me over on patreon you know nobody none of the gun channels that you see with patreons are proud to get on their videos at the end of their videos ask you guys to give a buck a month you know nobody's proud to do that it's just the way things are on youtube these days and i'm really grateful to you guys that are helping me out over there uh, i also want to give a little end the video shout out i do these from time to time to to you know help channels that i communicate with and uh and that i enjoy watching their content and try to try to help them grow a little bit the mark 3 smle channel you know me and him we've talked back and forth for years i've been subscribed to him for god knows how long <laughs> you know uh one of the probably one of the first channels i subscribed to here on youtube but anyway that's all i got and i'll talk with you guys again soon